What's up, everyone? Hope everyone's doing well during this uncertain time. Hope everyone's finding time to spend time with their families and just enjoy life, even though it is kind of scary with all the recent stuff going on in the news and this mess and pandemic that uh, I'm not going to speak its name has become in the last few weeks. Um, obviously, if you're a gym goer, your gym has probably been shut down and for good reason. So you've probably been forced to resort to home workouts. And the general consensus that I see around is that home workouts, they won't build any muscle. You're going to lose mass on them. There's no really point in doing them. There's actually a lot of really good solid exercises that can help you maintain, if not grow, some of uh, your muscles or strength that already exists out there. Um, some of them do require a little bit of equipment, but if you don't have equipment, you can make them work. Uh, it is unfortunate that you don't have, might not have a home gym to work out in, but you can make do with what you have. Um, and I would suggest getting a pull bar or a pair of dumbbells. There's a ton of different stuff you can do with them to help maintain muscle mass. But um, I'm gonna name off some home exercises that I use pretty daily that are really uh, good for muscle maintenance and possibly even muscle growth if you take them really hard. Starting off with the deficit push-up. With a regular push-up, you're very limited to a certain range of motion and you can't really get the best contraction, but when you add a deficit, so what you do is you put your feet up on um, an elevated surface and then you have another two elevated surfaces like stools or um, chairs that you put your hands on, which allows you to get a much larger range of motion and do 20 of these and you'll be dead. I don't even think I can get to 18. And when you add poly plyometrics, which is like jumping uh, clap push-ups, it just destroys you. I was um, supposed to do a set of four by 12 last night and I was able to get a four, set of four by 10 and then four by eight before I just do regular deficit push-ups because it just, it's that hard of an exercise. You'll get such a good solid weighted stretch doing these that it's it's a no brainer for me to have these in my program. Uh, also with push-ups, um, all the different variations you can hit, you can target your triceps more, you can target uh, your shoulders more, you can target your chest more with them. It adds a ton of really good overloading possibilities. There's mantis push-ups that I like doing, close grip pyramid push-ups that I like doing. Um, what you can do to really activate your chest is as you're pushing down uh, and pushing up, you turn your hands to the end. You think of it as you're trying to force your hands to the inside and it really helps contract your chest a lot more than just a normal push-up would do. Also, you have the option of weighting this. If you have a heavy backpack or a backpack that you can load, um, I would suggest doing so and it'll give you more chest activation or using a band as well. But the push-up is generally going to be a staple for your chest training and deficit push-ups, they're killer, man. They're awesome. Second, uh, another no-brainer exercise for me is the pull-up. And you don't need a pull-up bar to do this. I'm gonna demonstrate a few ways you can do a pull-up in your house if you don't have a pull-up bar. But a pull-up, in my opinion, is one of the best upper body exercises. It just helps you build a massive back and they're, they're hard for people. Like I've seen somebody being able to do a bunch of like 20 straight pull-ups with good form is more impressive than seeing somebody able to bench 400 pounds just because you're working with what you have and it's much, it's a, a much almost cleaner strength in my opinion because you have to have a good amount of cardio, you have to be good, relatively lean, you have to be very strong per your body weight to do a lot of good push-ups and pull-ups. But um, pull-ups are amazing. Uh, almost probably my favorite exercise. And um, I would highly suggest uh, probably getting a pull-up bar if you don't wanna do door pull-ups for the rest of this quarantine period. But um, pull-ups are crazy. Also with uh, pull-ups, you can weight them too. Weighted pull-ups are ridiculous and super impressive. They just put a ton of stress on your back. And when you do pull-ups right, when you're retracting your scapula and letting your back do the work, um, they're, they're ridiculous. You'll be able to get a ton of ton of gains out of them and just ton of overall benefit. But with, with the different variations, if you wanna go wide, hits a little bit of your upper lat. Um, actually doing a more of a close grip pull-up, not too close grip, um, will probably do be the best for like the overall lat development, but pauses, slowing it down is amazing. Um, if you need to work up to it and you can't really do a full pull-up yet by yourself, getting bands, bands help a lot, or doing it where you put um, two chairs and then have like a broom handle over it, and then you use that with your feet on the ground for pull-ups, um, allows you to kind of work up to doing full pull-ups. But overall, pull-ups are amazing. They're probably my favorite exercise to do. They're super impressive, they're super cool, they're amazing for your back, they hit your biceps a little bit as well. They're great. So kind of going along with the pull-ups is the chin-up. Chin-up is, um, I was, it's a very full body exercise with a little bit more target on your biceps than your back, but um, chin-ups are crazy good too. I, I love chin-ups, weighted chin-ups. They're, they'll build a lot of muscle. They're very good um, staple to your routine. They're hard, they're challenging, and there's a lot of benefit for them. But um, chin-ups like the pull-ups, they can be done not, it's a little bit harder to find a place to do pull-up, chin-ups uh, chin in your house if you don't have a pull-up bar, but you can make do. Chin-ups are amazing. I would highly suggest 
uh, investing in a pull-up bar to do them or finding ways around it, but pull-ups are amazing. They're full body, they activate your arm, they're great. Now for the legs, um, it's a little bit harder of an exercise to hit hard just because your legs are a lot stronger than your upper body, but lunges for me are probably the staple, the main staple of my leg training at home. Uh, if you wanna make it harder, weighted lunges. Uh, their lunges are probably the hardest and the most tiring out leg exercise. By the end, you're just suffering. And there's different ways you can do them too. If you wanna lean forward a little bit more, like I discussed in one of my other videos, you can get more activation in your glute slash hamstring area. And then if you want us to stand a little bit straight up, it activates your quads, but I'm um, doing jumping. Uh, split squats are amazing too. Uh, you can really switch it up and go different directions with lunges to hit just almost unilateral muscles and just really kind of destroy your uh, hip abductors and adductors, your quads, so it's just your full leg. But if you wanna focus on it, you can, you can really do a lot with what you have with lunges. Another really good leg exercise in my opinion is single leg glute bridges. After a set of 15, I'm destroyed. And then by the third, third or fourth set for each leg, I can barely hit the full 15 and incorporate a pause at the top. They just, they're killer. And I've been sore every day after doing these. Coming from a guy who squats uh, 420 pounds, they are impressive and they are solid. You will get a good glute workout. And I know guys kind of tend to avoid glute training, but it is super beneficial for deadlifts and for squats, having a strong posterior chain in general. That's why having a good back and uh, good glutes and good hamstrings is amazing. You need to have them, but overall it is a really solid exercise and I would highly recommend you incorporate them into your training if you want some major gains along the road. Now to add a little bit more specificity, um, obviously you probably aren't able to do heavy back squats. It is unfortunate, that's what I really am missing about being in quarantine, but um, air squats or goblet squats are pretty effective and if you do, you are able to experience a certain level of hypertrophy if you do work in the higher rep ranges. There's a few studies sent out that I saw that um, you're even able to achieve hypertrophy with 40% of a one rep max. But to make it harder, if you want, you can do a goblet squat where you hold the weight in your hands. Just makes it uh, more challenging for you, allows you to get uh, more of a strength effect on the muscle. It acts as a heavier weight, makes the exercise harder so you don't have to work in a 60 rep range. But um, if you have a backpack or a heavy dumbbell or anything really heavy, uh, you can hold that and really give your quads and hamstrings and glutes a really good workout as well. Um, I love goblet squats. Unfortunately, I don't have a ton of heavy weight, so I generally work with two 30 pound dumbbells or um, I'll hold my backpack, but if you have a big uh, 70 to 100 pound dumbbell, you'll be getting a crazy workout and they're, they're amazing. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm just trying to educate some people on what you can do if you're at home. Um, there's, I wasn't gonna name any ab exercises just because there's hundreds if not thousands of different ab variations that you can do. There, you can do abs pretty much anywhere. If you have a bar, you can do them. If you have a dumbbell, you can do them. If you have a, a floor, which everyone should have, you can do them. They're amazing. Um, ab exercise there's a lot of really challenging ones i would highly recommend you check out athlean x's video he has a lot of seven to eight minute ab workouts that are crazy in fact that's that makes them my app training i just before uh before i go to, an hour before i go to bed i do that i shower and then I'm, I'm done and i'm sore the next day too so his ab workouts are amazing um you can do them pretty much anywhere but i want everyone to keep on training hard this time period is unfortunately a time period that we have to be away from the gym but you can make do with what you have um if you have some dumbbells there's ads Dozens of different exercises that um, were different from the ones that I listed. So, but if you just have your body weight or minimal equipment, the list that I gave you is going to be a pretty good basis for maintaining your gains at least, and maybe even making some, depending on your training frequency and intensity. But um, if I were you train in the uh, close to failure range, train close to failure for every exercise, uh, just to really try to get the best hypertrophy and strength effect as you can on there as much sarcoplasmic and myofibular hypertrophy as you can. Um, it'll be hard for achieving more of a strength effect just because you'll probably be working in a higher rep range, but you can really get a lot bang for buck out of home workout training. But hope everyone does well. Please stay safe, stay indoors. I know it's rough, but um, gotta get past this together as a group. Anyways, see you guys later. Hope uh, everyone enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you'd like to see, but stay safe everyone. Peace.